Entre las obras del repertorio sinfónico de Ludwig van Beethoven, la Sinfonía número 4 goza de una perfección indescriptible, pero oh mala suerte, al igual que la segunda sinfonía, se encuentra entre dos obras monstruosamente conocidas, la previamente estudiada Sinfonía Heroica, o número 3, y la famosísima Sinfonía número 5. Beethoven compuso gran parte de su repertorio en Austria, así que nadie mejor para platicarnos la historia de la Cuarta Sinfonía que el director de orquesta y musicólogo austriaco Marcus Dauer. Hola, fellow Beethoven enthusiasts. My name is Marcus Bauer. I'm a musician and musicologist from Austria, currently living and working in China. I'm a longtime friend of Uriel and when he invited me to collaborate on this series of symphonies by Beethoven I was happy to say yes and I'm looking forward to tell you more about the historic backgrounds of the symphonies. Let's dive right into it. Today we are going to talk about symphony number four. The summer of 1806 Beethoven spent Due to the threat that the troops of Napoleon would come back to Vienna, which they just had left in January, at the summer estate of Prince Lichnowsky Wuschitz. Prince Lichnowsky was a well-known patron for music, especially well-known for his connection to Mozart. He was a Freemason and a Loge brother of Mozart, and he had lent Mozart a substantial amount of money that Mozart actually never paid back. So, shortly before the death of Mozart, he got sued by Lichnowsky, who of course never got his money back. Lichnowsky also, as a side note, was one of the first people to ever start collecting the works of Johann Sebastian Bach. Lichnowsky's summer estate was situated in Glogov, that's nowadays Poland, back then it was in the Dukedom of Silesia, which was part of the Habsburg Empire. In Glogov there is also the palace of the family of Count von Oppersdorf, another Austrian nobleman who actually was from Silesia. Lichnowsky took Beethoven on a visit to Count von Oppersdorf, who honored Beethoven by letting his orchestra perform the second symphony by Beethoven for this visit. During the visit he also discussed with Beethoven a dedication that he wanted on the next symphony, so he offered a substantial amount of money that Beethoven would write him a symphony. And this will be very interesting later on, because he actually bought the rights, the exclusive rights, for six months after the symphony was finished, that no one else would be allowed to perform it. As Beethoven was already working on the nowadays fifth symphony, he definitely thought of using this uh, material for the new symphony but decided actually to write a new symphony. Maybe it was, he felt it was too modern, too emotional, too radical. So he wrote a new symphony. Some musicologists say he already had the fourth symphony at home, but uh, many things speak against this theory. Yeah, another background story that is interesting for the fourth symphony is definitely that Beethoven was for once in his life, because he was usually not very happy, but for once he had a very upbeat mood and this happened because his immortal beloved, well known from the immortal beloved letters, uh, Josefina Countess Brunswick de Carompa, shortly before became a widow as her husband Count uh, Daim just had died and Beethoven actually thought he could have a chance to finally marry the love of his life. 
but as we know it never happened her family was absolutely against the countess marrying a normal person this made this fourth symphony actually a very upbeat and happy symphony which is not really to be said about most other pieces by Beethoven yeah now we come back to the question about the performances Count Oppersdorf, as we remember, had bought the exclusive rights for the first six months of the symphony after it was finished. But the first performance actually happened in March 1807 in Vienna, without the Count being there. And it happened in the nowadays called Eroica Hall in the palace of Prince Lobkowitz, so the famous place where the Eroica was first performed. Yeah, the first public performance that we know of was actually in November 1807 in the so-called Burgtheater. Nowadays the Burgtheater everyone in Vienna knows is this wonderful building at the Ringstraße, but at that time this building didn't exist yet, so actually where it was performed was the Court Theater. And the court theater sadly became destroyed in the later part of the 19th century. But I can show you first a painting by Gustav Klimt of the court theater. And there is a hidden gem in Romania where they actually made a small copy of the court theater. And I will show you a short picture of that too. I hope you found it interesting what I had to tell about the background story of the 4th symphony. I give back to Uriel to analyze the music and I'm looking forward to be able to say something next time about the 5th symphony because there is a lot to say about this one.